Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to talk about a device that I just got in the mail yesterday, and I want to talk a little bit about it and kind of do a review of it, uh, my initial kind of unboxing and review. You guys know I don't rip it apart in front of you. I'm too excited to just get it and kind of get things hooked up when I get these products. But I will show you what the device looks like, show you a couple pictures just of what it looks like in the box. Um, you know, the device, a lot of this stuff, when it you know comes down to reviewing smart home products, a lot of them um, aren't really so much about... Uh, what they look like as opposed to what they do and so that's why I never really spent a lot of time showing you because a lot of this stuff uh, mainly goes in the network closet uh, it's not really something to be displayed although this device I will say of the network items that I have in the closet is really cool looking it's almost something I wouldn't mind having on display because it does have some very functional features when it comes to the way it's illuminated now the device I want to talk about today is called the Finge Box I don't know if I'm saying that right Finge Box I believe that's exactly how you say it and what it is, it's a smart home device that you plug into your network. It allows you to keep an eye on what's connected to your home network. The device has a lot of really great features. And I have to tell you, this video is sponsored by Finchbox. They were nice enough to send me one of their units for review uh, to hook up to my network and kind of mess around with it and uh, add it to my home network of devices. Now you guys know I have a lot of connected devices in my house. And one thing I've been really kind of leaning towards lately is researching devices to protect that home network. Levels of security is what's going to take to protect all these smart home devices. Now let's face it, most of us are never going to have an issue where somebody's going to try to hack our network, but it does happen in today's day and age. And it's important to have things to protect yourselves. Um, just like your home security system and your camera system, you hope nothing bad ever happens, but if it does, you're going to be glad you have those devices uh, to be able to protect you know, not only your home, but in this case, your home network. And so what this device is, it just basically plugs into your home network or your home router, or a, in my case, I have it connected to a, a, uh, a six port switch, and it monitors what's connected to your network. It has a lot of other interesting features. So what I wanna do is just show you the box. You guys know I'm never really big on uh, reviewing the box because I mean, it's just, it's what it comes in. What, what's important is what it does. But this is what the device looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's hooked up in the closet and the lighting's kind of poor in there, but I'm gonna do my best to show you what it looks like illuminated, okay? And that's about it, really. It looks pretty much what like an Echo Dot looks like, the white version. Uh, with the exception, it does have uh, this blue rubberized protective case that slips over the device once you pull the wires through it. I'll show you that um, in, a, in a couple minutes. I'm going to read just a couple of the key features directly off the website, and then I'm going to show you the app and just kind of give you an idea of you know all the things it does. <clears throat> so it monitors your internet speed, it has bandwidth analysis, device blocking, a digital fence, and I'll explain that in a second. Alerts, emails, and push notifications, digital presence, Wi-Fi speed, and recent network events. And what's great about this device is that anything that happens on your home network, you're going to be notified on your phone or your tablet, in my case, my phone. And it's great peace of mind knowing that while I'm at work or I'm, not, or, or I'm out of town or whatever, that anything that's going to connect to my network, I'm aware of it. Or anything around my home network, I'm going to be aware of. And I'll tell you about that in a second as well. That's what the, digi the, uh, the digital presence, or the, I'm sorry, the... Uh, digital fence is all about. So why don't we, before we start talking about uh, uh, the actual device, why don't we just go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. I'm just going to click back to the main page here, and I'm just going to read you some stuff directly right off uh, the app. So let me just, I'm going to pick you up, we're going to take you with me here, and we're just going to go to my network closet over here. And you know, I have all this stuff tucked away, and it's pretty organized, but I'll eventually rip everything out and rewire everything where it's a little more organized. Um, it's just I'm always adding stuff, so it's hard to really keep it completely uh, uh, neat and tidy. But here it is here, and of course, you know, you have all the other devices I've reviewed. Uh, but this device down here, that with that glowing ring right there, and I don't know if you'd see that in the video there, but you can see the blue kind of the blue casing, it's just a rubberized casing. It's very similar to the size of an Amazon Echo Dot. It almost looks like it would be a dot, uh, with the, but the ring on this is a lot brighter. And the ring symbolizes the different modes on this as far as what it's doing. Uh, when it's connected to your net, it's gonna change color. And there's different um, sequences of lights that are gonna give you a, kind of a visual idea of what's going on. Now, I haven't really looked at all the information on the website yet as far as what the different light colors mean but right now it's glowing blue and that does symbolize that you we are it is connected to the network and that it is monitoring the home network so that's really about it there's not really much else to really say about it it's very basic looking but it is really cool because the lights are extremely bright and it is something that probably at a later date i will move possibly to my computer desk where i can actually have that those lights uh be useful as far as a um a visual alert system okay so let's talk a little bit more about the device itself 
and I'm going to talk a little bit about the app, okay? And, you know, there's a lot more information. And, you know, when I do these reviews, I, I like to encourage everybody to go to the website and read more about it because sometimes I may say something that's not 100% accurate. You know, sometimes, you know, I'm so excited to eat these products and review them with you guys. And I haven't had a lot of times, you know, time to really get to know the product. So I've only had it a couple days hooked up to my network. And I have to tell you, I really like the device. It's definitely something that if it wasn't sent to me, uh, and again, I thank you know Finchbox for, for sending me this uh, on the house and uh, allowing it to be an addition to my home. But this is something I would definitely buy after having it. This is something I definitely would buy. And I didn't really know that this device does uh, exactly what it does. You know, I have other devices on my network that are more like firewall type devices, but this is like a home monitoring device. This is what I would consider to be where you have your firewall on your network is equivalent to your home front door that maybe is a secure deadbolt and your alarm system. And of course, you have your security system, your camera system, which monitors everything. And that's what I kind of consider this to be a home surveillance video system for, if, if that makes sense, for your home network. So a little bit about it here. Um, the price of this is going to run you about $129. And I'll put links in the description where you can pick this up. Um, what it says, it helps you secure your home network and troubleshoot internet problems with features like device blocking, hacker threat checks, a home digital fence, Wi-Fi sweet spot finder, or sweet spot finder, and bandwidth hog identification. So if you have a device in your network and you find that your network's a little bit slow, you can see which devices are using the most bandwidth. So that's really useful. Um, let's see here. So you have, uh, let's see here. Uh, bear with me here. We're gonna go to the knowledge base here. Okay, so a few of the, more of the features, a little bit more about them. Protect your home network, track who is online, limit internet access, see device activity and history. So what's really neat about this device is that like the other day when I had one, when I rebooted my network and I added a new device to my network, this instantly told me when it connected to the network. And I could identify it, oh, right there, yep, that was a new security camera. And I know that it's something that's a, tr that's a trusted device on my network. If it wasn't, like let's just say somebody got my passcode, maybe somebody shared my passcode, who knows, not that I give it out to people I don't trust, but nonetheless, I could block that internet access instantly, remotely, from the phone, which is a great feature. You have your par par uh, if you're a parent, you have parental controls and device blocking, you can detect Wi-Fi attacks, monitor surrounding devices and block intruders. Um, improve your network performance. This device, if you actually walk around your house with the app, and it'll find you, it'll show you what the internet speed is through the Wi-Fi at that exact location, so you'll know where your sweet spots are, where you might want to position things. Um, you would test your internet speed, which I found to be extremely accurate. It's uh, it gave me the same readings as did your uh, your speed test or your in my case a CenturyLink uh, speed test uh, and also one on Google. Same results, and so uh, a little bit more about it. Internet security. Uh, it'll alert you about open ports, malicious threats, and vulnerabilities on your network. Uh, you can run an internet security check at any time you need to. Uh, evil twin access point detection, detection and alert of malicious event, evil twin access points, uh, which are a threat to network security, includes crack attack detection, which is something that I will email the company and find a little bit more about and re-review this product at a later date. The digital fence is something I find really cool because not only will this thing detect um, what's connected to your network, it'll detect devices around your network. So in my case, I can see on this device you know, my neighbor's cell phone, I can see uh, my neighbor's uh, fire stick, I can see some of the devices that are close to my network, but not actually connected to my network. And this is kind of a neat feature that if you see the same device kind of popping up, you'll kind of know if that's a trusted neighbor or maybe somebody kind of prowling around, you know what I mean? Um, the alerts with the push notifications are absolutely fantastic. You get that instant notification right to your phone. Um, another great thing about this is that anytime you have a network uh, downtime, if your network crashes, or you lose internet connection from your ISP, you'll be notified. So that's really great because sometimes you're either sleeping, you know, good 16 hours a day, you're either at work or sleeping. You're not really sure what may be going on with your home network. There's really no way of knowing unless you go into your, uh, check your logs through your router, uh, whether or not that's happening. So it's really good if you're getting a lot of drop internet services or if your internet service is dropping quite a bit, that might be an indication you might need to check with your internet service provider to find, okay, do I have a bad modem? Uh, do I need, you know, is it bad firmware? Does it need to be upgraded? Stuff like that. Or are they having an issue? Um, digital presence, you can see who is home and what devices are in use. So let's just say you have your girlfriend uh, or your, your kid comes home. You'll know by checking the log or checking the, um, the app uh, whether that device is connected to your network or not. So that's pretty cool. I believe you can also have alerts for when they do come home. 
Uh, again, remote monitoring, that's pretty much what I've, I mentioned. Uh, automatic pause schedule, which is awesome. So if you're, you know, you have a family and let's say dinner times between three and five or homework times between three and five, you can set this at a specific time to kill the internet traffic to certain devices during that time where it might be something that as a parent, you might not want your children, uh, you know, working or using the internet at that time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so that's really, there's more stuff on the internet about this or on their YouTube channel, but I encourage you to check out uh, the, the website. So without further ado, I do want to show you the app because I can tell you about it and, you know, I could sit here, hold it in my hands, but it's not really got, the main thing is about this device is what it does, not what it looks like, not what the box looks like that it comes in, but what it actually does. And so I'm just going to show you, let me grab my phone here. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the app. Let's see here. Okay, so you have to bear with me here, all right? So let me try to move this so maybe you can see it a little bit better, okay? We're using one of my high-tech tripods. You guys have seen those in my other videos. It's pretty amazing. All right, so. All right, so we're going to do this the best we can here. So basically here, let me go back to devices. So you'll see that it has, I have right now 57 of 58 devices connected to my network. And I can see exactly what all those devices are, whether it be my smart speaker, which is not connected at the moment. Oh, no, it did just, it, is it connected? Oh, let me refresh here. It's in, it shows it's in range, but it's not actually connected. Uh, so that's, we'll probably have to reboot that device, of course. Uh, you have some of my smart switches, and I'm not going to bring you through all the devices in here, but that'll show you a map of basically everything that is connected to your network. You come over here to my networks. These are networks where you might connect to, whether you're, you know, you go to a restaurant or whatnot. Um, and you go over to the Finch box. This is where you add the device. The setup on this is really easy. Once you plug into your network, what I love about this is plug and play. And for a lot of devices, people are kind of intimidated with things that, uh, you know, you, you plug into your network and have to configure. This is really straightforward. You plug it in, you add the device, and it pretty much starts monitoring your home network. If something pops up, like here, we'll go to recent events. You can see that I got home one hour ago, and I was offline 10 hours ago when I left, okay? Digital fence, 76 devices are around my, my home at this point. Um, and you have lots of information, what device connected and when. So you have a, 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 a log of events that have happened. You have your internet speed, and I can go ahead and click that at any time and run a speed test. Last time I checked, it was 35.2 megs, which is kind of similar, close to what I'm normally getting. Um, Wi-Fi performance, that shows your bandwidth analysis. So if you have a device on your home network, you want to find out what's using a lot of device. Uh, or, I'm sorry, you can go around the house and find out um, exactly, uh, you know, um, whoops, sorry, I'm getting a text message. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. Some things you just can't stop from happening. Uh, so you can see your bandwidth analysis will show you what devices are using the most bandwidth on your network. So you can, uh, you know, kind of have an idea of, you know, what's maybe being a, a usage hog. Not that it really matter because let's face it, um, you know, most of our devices on our network use what they use. And, you know, it's not really much you can do to change that. Um, but uh, let's just say you're not really sure what situation you need to want to really, uh, you know, throttle something down or not. But... Um, maybe you'll, you'll, you'll figure, okay, well, this is what's being used. Maybe I need faster internet. And then you can have your scheduled pause here, any kind of internet security uh, issues you might be having. And then back to the device, and you see all the, the um, items uh, that are connected to your network. I was going to click one as far as my cell phone is concerned. We'll just click that. And you can see here that I have this in a group, and you can add members to this per device. Now, I only have my cell phone here, and I didn't add all the devices because I know they're all mine. But let's just say I want to add my girlfriend as a user. I can go ahead and put her name on here, and it'll show her cell phone under um, her name, of course, okay? So me, I just have my cell phone there. And uh, it'll show last seen and when it was online. You have the event log, and it can be alerted when the status changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that because I'm gonna use that later on just to test it out. You have automatic wake on LAN, and of course, um, um, the internet uh, IP address and all the other information associated with the phone. So you get a lot of really, really great information. Oops, hang on, my lovely tripod's moving here. You get a lot of very quick information with this device without having to, you know, log into your router or anything like that to get the information. So that makes it really, really easy. Man, what's not easy is this lovely tripod that I have. 
you guys, you guys will love this game. I showed it to you, but I've already, I already, I already showed this. I should review it because it's that great. All right, there we go. Hopefully, a suction cup holds. <laughs> I know. I need to get. I need to get more equipment. I don't know why. I just don't buy anything. I will at a later date. But anyway, so that's really the device in a nutshell. Um, it's it's got the free subscription with the app. Once you buy the device, it just works. And I don't think there's anything else to really be mentioned on this here. Um, like I said, pretty straightforward. Uh, you're notified on the go. You plug into your router, and it just works. Um, that's really about it. You have a, it gives you the control over your network and the ability to monitor that network remotely at a distance so you always know what's connected and when. And you can track who's home and who's not with the device. So I think it's a fantastic product and what I love about it is that it's really a no-brainer on hookup. It's very user-friendly and I definitely think it's something that if you want to keep track of your home network and just have something to as a layer of protection for that network, I think it's a great device. And for the features for your family as well, from the parental controls uh, to the uh, the digital fence to know you know uh, who's around or who's not. If you live, I can see the digital fence. In my case, I have a lot of people around me. Let's face it, you know you're always gonna pick up somebody. Um, I mean, if you do a search for home Wi-Fi networks around where I'm at, you're gonna pick up like I'd say at least 15 of them. Uh, it's just the, the routers are so powerful nowadays. They put out so much signal, and there's always people with cell phones around. But if you have a situation where you live in somewhere with a little bit of property around you, you pretty much almost know that any device around that digital fence, um, you could be notified on. So if you let's say you lived on an area where you had some room around you, you know you have maybe you don't have as many smart devices as me, but you know you have five devices connected. Next thing you know, you have one extra device around there, but you're not really sure who that is. You actually know if somebody's roaming around your network. So that's a really cool feature. Um, in my case, you know, there's people walking. I kind of live in an area where there's lots of uh, people moving around. So um, not something that I particularly will use a lot of, but uh, definitely something I'll explore more in the, at a later date and re-review -re -re this product at a later date. But so far, uh, with my initial unboxing, my initial test of some of the features, I am sold on this device. I think it's fantastic. I think anybody with a home network with many devices um, should have this. Plain and simple. So, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I want to go ahead and thank Fingebox for uh, their generosity in sending me this sample to review. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this for the best deal, whether that's through Amazon, eBay, or directly through the manufacturer. Um, I believe that they're preparing me a coupon code to save you, uh, I believe it's $10 off on this device, but check the description before you make a purchase. Guys, yeah, smart home, a lot of items. Get this device because you're going to know exactly what's connected and when. All right, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And as always, have a wonderful day, folks. Take care.